Well, the time is about quarter past five, and we've got up at four o'clock this morning, um, left at half past four to walk a thousand metres uphill to Poon Hill. That's right. That's right. And the reason for that is, if I turn the camera around, to see this view. That's Dadagheri, following it along. We have Annapurna 1, where we're going to. Annapurna South. Hinuchuli and Fishtail. And we will be trekking up the valley between these two mountains, um, which will give us a view um, of Annapurna 1 in front of us. Lots of people here today, or lots for this time of the year. Having a good trip so far, Melissa? Good trip. Tired? A little bit tired. A little bit of a Sniffy nose. Sniffy nose. Um, but we've got a long day ahead. Yes, we have indeed. Slowly making progress. And we're going to Tadapani today. Here's the lookout point. And we're just waiting for the sun to come up over the mountain. Annapurna 1 is the 10th highest mountain in the world. This one here, first, summited in 1950. 50% of all people that try to climb it die. Don't say that. <laughs> and it was um, summited by Maurice Herzog, who initially tried to summit this one first, Badagheri. Good morning. Morning. It's now half past seven. We've just left the metro train station. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. It's half past seven, and the date is Friday, the 18th of May, 2012. Uh, we just left metro Pachuri base camp. Which is behind us. Well, in front of us. There, and we're making our way to Annapurna base camp. This is about a 400 meter climb. As you can see behind us, we have um, a glacier with glacier water running underneath the ice. And then behind us, again up higher, there is Annapurna South. And then uh, at the ridge line in front, you take a uh, sharp right, and then hopefully the sanctuary shall open up in front of us. We decided to stay in Machu Picchu Base Camp um, to acclimatise. It has uh, been a, little, it was a long day yesterday, so uh, when we get to the sanctuary, we do another short video. Well, we're crossing uh, another glacier, heading to Annapurna Base Camp. The lodges are up here in the distance. It's quite deceiving, and we picked up a little friend. A little dog that's come to greet us. Lots of these um, types of dogs around here they tend to follow you. We are here at Annapurna Base Camp, 4,200 meters. Uh, we climbed today from Machapachuri Base Camp. This is Machapachuri here, also known as Fishtail. Just, um, just got ourselves a room, just come up here to the viewpoint. In the background you see Annapurna 1, which is the 10th highest mountain in the world. Um, over 8,000 meters. There's not much between here and there, mainly in moraine. And we just heard um, what sounded like a gunshot, uh, which was more than likely um, an avalanche from the direction of Annapurna 1 so um, because the sun's quite strong now it melts a lot of the snow causing avalanches we're quite safe here. it's taken us a fair few days to get here 
It's been a hard slog, but it's been well worth it. Um, I think we're the only people staying here at the moment. Uh, we made a, a good call to stay at Manchester Jury last night. Most people rushed up here um, risked, uh, with, with the risk of um, altitude sickness. We're quite fresh, um, slept quite well last night. You want to say anything, Melissa? Um, And um, tomorrow morning, uh, we're going to get up really early and um, uh, we're going to watch sunrise um, here at Annapurna Base Camp. Okay, this is a guided tour of the Annapurna Base Camp. This is where all the lodges are down here. Um, you have um, a monument, a chorten, whichever you want to call it, uh, to, to climbers that have died trying to summit Annapurna, which is one of the most difficult if not the most difficult uh, summits in the world. Above here we have uh, Fishtail, Machu Picchuri, and um, going this way around. Uh, one of these peaks here is Gangapurna. I'm not too sure which one it is. Uh, below you've got a really nice waterfall down there, coming off uh, one of the glaciers. As we follow it around, And a Purna one, uh, first summited in 1950 by Horace Herzog, um, having failed to summit Dalagheri, which is pretty much behind um, and uh, over the uh, Kalagandaki Valley. Uh, what's covered in cloud now is Annapurna South. Uh, we can see that this morning, yesterday. And then coming back round. Up here, also in the cloud at the moment, we should see it in the morning, is a peak called uh, Hinuachuli, I think it's called, it's pronounced. Uh, this is the peak that causes all the problems on your approach um, and causes the avalanche risks. And then coming back around, Thunder Base Camp, that should be sure. Morning, sir. Morning. So we're, uh, we're here at Sunrise, right. Annapurna Base Camp, it's Annapurna 1 in front of us. The sun appears to be coming up over this mountain here, which I think is maybe Gangapurna or Annapurna 3. It's just there. Panorama of Machu Picchu. That's where we've been staying down here. There's not many people here today. Quite a few people who walk up from Machu Picchu base camp, which is down here. They'll get up about three o'clock in the morning. It takes two hours. I'd see the point myself, you may as well stay here. And uh, continuing. We have Hinu Chuli and up in the south. And back to and up in one. It's um, 10 to 6 in the morning. It's Saturday, the 19th of May 2012 and we're here at the Annapurna Sanctuary in Nepal. This in front of you is Annapurna 1, 8,091 meters. Machu Picchuri. Base camp down there where we stayed last night. In Uchuli. Annapurna South and back to Annapurna One.
What'd you say? <laughs> Shall we strip off here? Huh? Well, we're um, walking down the valley now, away from the big mountains, so this is probably the, uh, the last time we'll get to see any sort of uh, significant uh, size mountains. As you can see, the, the glacier water that runs off is, um, well, it's quite quick. You don't want to stumble and fall in there, that's for sure. How scary was that? <laughs> I was pulling my pants all the way across there. How did you find that? Were you scared? Yeah. I was very scared. <laughs> I'm going to take a breather. Well, we've just come to the end of our 10-day uh, trek to the Annapurna Sanctuary. Uh, it's been uh, really tough. And um, the last part of the trek just to remind us how tough it was. It was all stone steps. <laughs> I think we've done, um, the last hour was, was downhill. Downhill, stone steps. Stone steps, absolutely um, killer on your knees. Makes so, you very pleased to see the finish line behind us. Finish line behind us. Just got to try and get um, some sort of transport now back to Pokhara because um, as it's been for most days, there's been a strike on. So uh, the taxis have been getting stoned by the locals. <laughs> which doesn't help, but um, we hear that there's uh, some tourist buses. We can have some food, um, wait for our Singapore friends, and yeah, we're cha changing hotel. We're going to get a hotel with a swimming pool to relax. Bye-bye. Over and out. Paragliding in Pokhara. Yeah. First time with my pilot Robin. Yes. Hello Robin. Hi. Very good. Melissa is 